Good afternoon, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. We're at our local Sam's Club. No rhyme, no reason why we're here today except for to do some down browsing. Stay with us. And as we walk around, we're going to see what kind of deals are going on. If they filled up the overhead jet with that fall goodies. And see what we can see. So stay tuned. Alright folks, well, new lower prices for gasoline powered edgers. We got some generators here. You know, that time of year is coming up when uh, your power may go out. If you don't have a generator, you're going to be sitting in the dark. Unless you got solar. No gas cans though. Something weird this year. They didn't sell any gas cans. Not sure why. These are uh, interesting. These lanterns are three pack for $19.98. LED lantern, flashlight, emergency light, 200 lumens for $19.99. $19.98. That's not a bad deal. And we need leather gloves right above it. A little much, but. Uh, I'm not looking for little lamps right now or gloves, but here they are. We'll just walk real slow, let you take a leg gander. Commercial disc soap. Now here's something folks. Dawn. Professional. You get one gallon. 128 sinks. Cleans 58% more dishes per sink. Dish detergent Dawn. Now remember Dawn is like the WD-50 of soaps. The oil it removes grease all the different things it can do so keep your eye out for dawn one gallon 12.98 if you're looking for food service sanitizer 5.48 glass cleaner your scott brights these things are everywhere you can, these are if you uh, remember the truck stopped delivering, you're going to need that. There's all your trash bags. Not seeing a lot of specials right now. Not sure if this is the that, that they're getting ready to do another set. But. Now see these little buggers right here. I like these. Okay, limited time only called Vittle, Vault, Vittle Vaults. If you're out there packing stores, these guys here I don't make a big old mess trying to get the lid open, but they have a seal in them. I'll be right back. I'm going to check the seal. And there's a little rubber gasket. They gave you a, a scoop. Nice spacious interior. I like those. Not a bad price at all either because they're stackable. If you've got, you know, they can only, they're, they're food safe, so anything can go in them. Not just dog food, but anything you want. If you've got your wheat berries, your wheats, your corns. I wouldn't put like flour, processed flour. I go more for be for beans and things like that. But, uh, Come harvest season, you know, you want to put your seeds in it, or if you got a bunch of potatoes, you want to keep them in a certain temperature, onions, these are what I'd get. Sam's Club. Vitter vaults. Vit Vito vaults. And for all you folks out there that have pets, there are these Pet Action Pluses by Frontline. Flea and tick collars for dogs. Remember, folks, your animals are out there 
to give you love and comfort and companionship and when you take them out for walks they attract those little critters that get inside your house and bug the living daylights out of you I recommend that if you've got a pet and you can afford it to stock up on those collars because again if you're unable to work or because of the current the economic situation or for whatever reason and you've got at least a good eight month supply you're good to go they don't go bad and you have them because when you're going to walk your dog and those tick and flea collars are not working anymore you're you're setting yourself up for disaster and of course when you're doing your laundry and we all know that that's something that's never going to stop happening at least have a good supply of your laundry detergents and your softeners most of that stuff doesn't go bad but what does go bad is Clorox bleach it just turns to water it becomes less and less and less effective over the time you know I recommend only a few bottles of the chlorine bleach but something you can cycle through it's something that doesn't have a good shelf life but everything else does as long as it's stored And now with these new machines coming out that are DC controlled, if you've got a solar system that you can operate your inverters, you at least do a load of laundry once a week and let the sun pay for it. And we're visiting the cooking again. Okay, these prices haven't changed a bit. A four count is 548. These are for those stoves that you see out there at the fairs, and I've got these things. I've got, a, I've got, I've already got enough of them. I don't need any more. I don't want to get any chafing. I don't need these at all. These are what I have. A good supply of those. What I want to start stocking up on is these bowls and things. The, the utensils these are what I need to be able to get and have them in reserve when it comes to being prepared knife fork and spoon silverware is almost a must steak knives certain utensils I highly recommend at least a stockpile not a lot but enough because remember to have it and not need it is better than needing it and not having it. All right, folks, we found another good deal. A two-pack of parchment paper. Excellent, excellent bargain. And these are made in France. Ziploc bags. You always need Ziploc bags. Price is pretty well stabilizing. Wax paper, same thing. You don't see much of a demand for it, but here it is. Now, food service aluminum foil. Where are you at? Film roll. Heavy duty foil. And then your standard two pack, 18 inch. And then your standard 12 inch. Now what I understand is why is a 12 inch standard roll 18 and then that 18 inch heavy duty is 15. What's wrong with this picture? I guess it's the length. Yes. These are 500 feet. And these are 300 feet. Now for all you folks who are about ready to send your kids off to college, I highly recommend these. They're plastic. 48 count, 1388. Send your kids to the college prepared. Alright folks, when it comes to bathroom time, do not cheap out. Find that brand you like and stick with it. Nothing like sitting down and doing your business and finding that what you got is no good. And of course, when you got the sniffles, you need something to catch it. Pack it away and throw it away. When a truck stopped delivering, 
you gotta need Kleenex. You don't need a whole bunch of it. Maybe one of these small cases of it you can put away. You live in an area where it's not too moist, not too humid. If not, you'll have to put these in some airtight containers, but the prices are not too bad. Always keep a list of what you're getting for your preppers and make sure that tissue is on that list. And yes, folks, fall is right around the corner and hot cocoa is something that everybody must have as a creature comfort. I must tell you out loud that when you're out there shoveling snow or out there cutting wood and you get inside, nothing like a big old hot cup of cocoa makes that heartfelt feeling of success. And remember, folks, if you're not too picky about your coffees, the classic roast member's mark, 48 ounce number 10, number 10 cans. As long as it has the oxygen absorber in it, it should last for a few years. Well, my eyes spied something interesting today, folks. Taco seasoning, 12 packs, 6.98. If you do the math, that's not a bad buy. And if you take a look, no MSG, no artificial flavors, no dairy. So these will last quite a bit. And of course that best buy is April 2021. Alright folks, and remember, when you're going to buy your bullion cubes, remember to buy one of each. Last time I was here, I bought two beef, and I didn't mean to buy two beef, because bullion cubes, when you look at the size of the container, it's going to be a while before you run out of those. But I wanted one of each, so I went and picked one up today. Now here's one of those other things, folks. Gravy mixes. To make that rice meal go just a little bit further... There's poultry gravy and brown gravy, $4.98 each. Keep them in a dry container. If you want to vacuum seal them in the container, go for it. Remember, to make that rice go and taste a whole lot better, you add some of this gravy to it. The poultry gravy for chicken and turkey. Look at those ingredients, take a photograph. The sodium is what I'm curious about. 320 milligrams so that takes the salt that you would normally put on your rice I'm gonna get one of each and try them out look what's back folks Libby's pumpkin three packs I'll have to scan it to find out what price it is be right back well folks we're gonna have to take us up to the register and see how much it costs because it doesn't exist in the store yet but I'm going to grab me three cans of this because I love pumpkin pie. And yes, folks, the fall season brings in the goodies. Honey cornbread, $4.98 for a four-pack, 15-ounce. If you like your honey cornbread muffin mix, this is the place to get it. And look what my eyes spied. Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. I'll get some of these the next time I visit. But I love these. These are excellent. Well, I know if I waited long enough, I find one of the new lower price ones. Eleven ninety, thirteen ninety-eight, $4.10 off. Organic coconut oil. Now, if you look here, see how this one is still opaque? And this one is liquid. And yet you look at the same container. It's because one of them has time to go out of temperature. These guys are solid, which probably means they've been here. And these will go solid too when the temperature drops. It's the same exact item. There's a the barcode. Yep, 354. It's just not solid. Coconut oil can go solid and liquid. It's just, you want to catch it and purchase it when it's solid. But it'll go it'll go solid if it's in liquid form. Not too soon. I don't use a lot of coconut oil. But here you got it. 
And for some of you folks out there that make your own sauerkraut, Himalayan pink salt makes the best sauerkraut. And remember folks, when you're looking for olive oil, make sure it's olive oil pure. Not a mixture of different companies, but pure olive oil. Be surprised sometimes you look at the bottle and it'll be canola oil or 10% olive oil, the rest is filler. And if you've been keeping your eye out on the price of canned corn over the last few years, if you buy it in bulk, you can get it for a whole lot cheaper than buying it by the smaller cans. But not much change in there. It's kind of odd though. But these have been warehoused for months. $5.98 for the 12 cans of corn and cut green beans. A staple in most American homes. I don't remember if we were here before, but $6.98 with a dollar savings on a real Idaho potato. And I mentioned the fact that it wasn't in the budget, but it is today. We're going to go ahead and take one home. Now we're always looking at the premium chicken breasts in a can. These are six cans, 12.5 ounce cans for $9.88. I think that's about two or three dollars more than what it was back in 2014 when I started stocking up on that. I don't need any, so I'm not going to get it. But over time, we all know the prices go up. And if any of you folks are tuna Fish Lovers, $9.98 for 12 packs, 5 ounce, and this is all dolphin safe, bumblebee. Uh, tomato paste, we're looking at $4.98 for 12 pack, 6 ounce cans for $4.98. Tomato sauce, 12 pack, 15 ounce, $5.90. Members mark. For all you folks out there who like medium cantina salsa, a two pack for $5.98. If you're in for the pace chunky salsa, two pack, $6.88. Nacho cheese in cans, because football season's right around the corner. Mild guacamole salsa, $5.88. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like having a big old football game and people coming over and getting all the salsas and hot sauces. Prices are not bad either. I've never heard of this before, but it's called Yum Yum Sauce. If anybody knows what this is and have tried it, let me know because the best buy dates aren't that long. I mean, at 9.19, this stuff's about ready to go bad. Well never goes bad, but it goes expired. Uh, soy teriyaki has a longer shelf life because it's soy based. That's $5.76 for a single bottle. And you go down here to sweet and savory marinade with the chef on it, $6.88. My favorite is the A1 steak sauce. Save those containers, folks. Those glass containers can be reused for other things, like if you make your own soy sauce, or you make your own sauces, you can fill these bottles. Seal it right up. And for all you pickle fans out there that like whole pickles in a jar, man, I'm telling you something. These guys right here are great. Whole classic Dells. 128 fluid ounces. And don't throw that bottle or cap away. It can be made and saved to make your own sauerkraut. If you like your kosher spill, spear pickles, these are great bottles too. And remember, reuse that bottle because they can be used for other things if you ferment. And I'm not going to visit the sweet tooth aisle today, folks. I don't have time and don't have the money for sweet tooth items right now. But it's here. And remember those lunches. If you brown bag it, brown bag the cookies. You don't want them buying them out of vending machines if you can afford to buy them here. It's cheaper to buy those cookies and packets instead of going to the vending machines. Trust me, folks, I know. Now I don't have to. Same with the chips, folks. If you can get them in these boxes, you stay away from that vending machine. They're always marked up 50, 60%. Remember, 
a little savings in your pocket can go a long way. Now this is my favorite aisle because it's the food that make foods good for you. Popcorn, raisins, prunes. I know, prunes are great folks. Cranberries, they come and go in, in the season. Let's see if cranberries have come in again. Yes, they have. Mountain Trek mix. Oh, I guess not. We won't be seeing cranberries for just a little bit longer, then all of a sudden they'll be right here. All right, folks, we've covered this over and over and over again. I know, if you've got a food dehydrator, put it to work making your own dehydrated meats. If you come in here and you see these crazy prices for your own original make of meat sticks, do it yourself. Well, 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 look, we're here. We're in the banana section, and of course, bananas. Uh, they buy it. Buy 13 packages, get a dollar off. I don't really need that much bananas. But if you're going to do any kind of uh, smoothies, you can dehydrate bananas and make a banana powder. I'm going to give that a shot. So what I'm going to do today is buy two banana packs, let them age just a little bit, cut them into small small pieces, dehydrate them, and then grind them. We'll see how that works. They gotta be really, really crispy. They can't be leathery. They have to be completely dry. So this experiment might be a failure. And don't forget, folks, if you're a beer or wine lover, this store has what you're looking for. Now, their beer selection are all of the weird ones that you've never heard of. They don't just have all kinds of different wines and different flavors, but they have different beers. I keep forgetting to show you this. Twisted Tea, Angry Orchard, Bud Light and Orange, O'Doul's of course, Blue Moon, Shock Top, Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Oh. Red Hook. Harpoon IPAs. Shipyard Summer Ale. I love Shipyard. But it's it's time to think about the fall. The Bat Blue. Canadian. Bass. Bex. Dos Equis, And Stella. And that's the invisible beer, folks. Well, that does it just for today, folks. We've got what we've come to get. Now we're going to take it to the register. It'll be just under $100. 15 of that is for something I came to get for somebody else. And we'll come back the next time at our own Sam's Club. Bye now, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Remember, the good Lord's up there looking for you. Go talk to him.